I have never seen an episode of the TV show The Equalizer, but after seeing this movie, I don't think this is anything like the TV show. The Equalizer, directed by Antoine Fuqua, who directed Training Day, and he's back again with Denzel Washington. In this movie, Denzel plays Robert McCall. He's a man with a dark past, and he has a special set of skills, kind of like Liam Neeson from Taken, but this is not Taken. This is much different. He has a simple routine he goes through every day, working at the hardware store, kind of like Home Depot and reading uh, books at a cafe that he likes to read, Old Man of the Sea, The Invisible Man, and there's a prostitute there played by Chloe Grace Moretz, Alina, that, that he's friends with, and this prostitute ends up getting beaten up very badly by, the, by her pimps, so Robert takes it upon himself to kick their butts and kill them all, <laughs> and this brings in the Russian Mafia, because that's who they are connected to. And we have our movie! <laughs> and this was actually a pretty good movie. I did like this movie. Denzel is great as this character. This guy who decides to become a vigilante against this Russian mafia and against anyone else that's corrupt because he does go after some other corrupt individuals like a a couple of cops who are doing a protection racket and uh, there's one guy that tries to rob the Home Depot or hard, whatever type of hardware store he works at. And the direction in this movie was pretty good, all the pacing is a little bit off. I mean the movie does start out a bit slow in order to give you character development, but, and it, but then it goes back and forth between being very fast paced action and then being very slow again. It's just, it gets very annoying and it, and it feels way too long. It feels like this could have, it could have like cut like maybe 15 minutes off a little bit. Chloe Grace Moretz is okay in the movie. I mean, I think she's a great actress, but here she does a terrible Russian accent in this movie. We're supposed to believe she's Russian. <laughs> I guess after Carrie Russell and Scarlett Johansson have played are playing Russian characters and they're not Russian, why not? All you need is to just know a little bit of, of Russian and hey, you can be a, a, a Russian actor. <laughs> but the villain they bring into this movie clearly has a good Russian accent since he's European. Uh, Martin Sarkosis plays the villain Nikolai or Teddy. He's really good in this movie. I really did like him. And the fight scenes in this movie are really awesome. The kills that they show in this movie are really good. How Denzel's character kills people. And this is a, a pretty good movie despite the big flaws and how slow the pacing is sometimes. So I'm going to give this movie a B. It's worth checking out.